stand at ease. What's it? It is. <laughs> Are we really at ease here? Will the Mumbai Indians be at ease here? Are we Six the Mumbai Indians? Wickets and twenty-seven balls to spare. And Rajasthan Royals have cantered home. It did seem like it could be tricky, but I think that was a bit of false hope, hoping against hope. Uh, everyone wants to see a close game, so even if you are neutral, at some point you thought maybe, maybe there'll be some sort of contest. Quite frankly, it was a no contest in the end. Yes, it wasn't as easy a pitch as everyone thought. Wasn't as easy a condition to have. batted freely was not quite like that but in the end rajasthan royals winning it is now three wins out of three games and they go right on top of the table mumbai indians exactly the opposite polar opposite yeah. of what rajasthan have done three matches three losses right at last time i said bottom of the table you guys corrected me nine now bottom now of the table now they are bottom of the table ah okay now can i safely say bottom of the table so it was the top of the table versus bottom of the table clash albeit it happened after the game has gotten over and uh, while you know rajasthan winning has not changed mumbai indians losing has not changed one more thing remains constant and that is a uh, smiling no one more thing was <laughs> hardik pandya got boot three the other thing that hasn't changed is a smiling hardik pandya after the loss what is it happy dance one third As we welcome our very hard oh, working, we welcome Saranch is back. <laughs> As we welcome a very hard working producer Saranch, who insisted that he will come and defend the indefensible Mumbai Indian. <laughs> Said he is promised to. Anyway, we'll get to that a little later. Uh, first up, Rajasthan Royals. How many of you had them in your top four? Hey, we can't trust him. There's <laughs> proof. There's proof. There is. It's on text. These guys saw it. Mm. Yeah, we all exchanged uh, before the season, even before the season. But then, is, was what we exchanged on text more important, or what went on sports today? Sports today. Yeah. I wasn't there in that video. So by the way. Oh. By the way, no, no, no. By the way, what went on sports today was also Rajasthan Royals. Ask me how. You predicted Rajasthan. Yes. You hmm. did not. You did yeah. not. Ah. And then what happened? Who got out voted? We went to the casting vote. Oh yeah, R R. Yes. And yes, who yes. gave the casting vote? The audience. No. No, the we guys. Pavan. Pavan. Oh yeah, Pavan. Pavan. So, Rajasthan. Uh, so technically, for Rajasthan. sports today, it was Rajasthan. It was Rajasthan. Yes. You know, we'll be proud of it. Uh, but on the same note, as we gloat about uh, having Rajasthan in our top four, we must also mention unanimously we picked Mumbai Indians also to be in the top four. But we picked them as title winners. It's worse. You did. Well, you know, actually on sports today we did because Siddharth and me outvoted you. Yes. So technically, yes, yes. Vote. That can still happen. That can still happen. That three, can actually. Three losses for Mumbai. Yeah, yeah, it can still happen. Yeah, actually, it can because again, MI notoriously slow starters. Rajasthan notoriously quick off the blocks, and then they stumble yeah. in the middle of the season. So everything so far is following a trend. I mean, see, Mumbai Indians' worst start 2014 lost five games on the trot, yet they made it to the eliminator. But we know how huffing and puffing and how much luck they needed to beat Rajasthan Royals here. After after that match, the only one who was huffing and puffing was Rahul Dravid. Oh, he yes. wanted to blow the house down. Twenty twenty two, they couldn't recover after eight straight losses, and that's why they finished up as the wooden spooners. Now, whether it'll be the Mumbai Indians comeback of twenty fourteen, or will it be the Mumbai Indians of twenty twenty two, that needs to be determined because in the next two games. Am I are taking on Delhi Capitals, and am I are taking on RCB at home? At home. home. The next three games are at home, which is proving to be away from home. Of the course. The kind of reception that they've been getting. Yeah. We'll get into Mumbai Indians a little later, but first, uh, big shout out to Ryan Parag, 54 not out. He's the orange cap holder now. Wow. 85 that he hit against Delhi Capitals, 43 that he hit in the first game against the Lucknow Super Giants. Now a 54, and he has some of the shots that he played. Mm. Next level. Guys, uh, one question. Six over extra cover. Mm. My man. Nineteen to go. Man, whatever over. Yeah. It can't so. be the nineteen to go. The fourteenth. Fourteenth. Second last over. Second. Fourth <laughs> finish. Sorry. Fourteenth. Second last over. Yeah, yeah. 
outstanding batting and the way how he negotiated with Jaspreet Bumrah, uh, Akash Madhwal, he was really in that zone and we were wondering, is this the Riyan Parag that underwhelmed for four years? I mean, this is the same Riyan Parag who went from class clown to class topper. Let's be frank. He was not the class clown. Oh, he definitely was. Uh, no, he was not. His franchise never thought he was. Yes, yes. The franchise, no, franchise did not. thought he was the golden. Ah, yes. Ah. So he never, in his own mind, ever thought yeah. that. A franchise never thought that. But yes, the cricketing world in general did. Yeah. They yeah. did. But He's in his own mind, even in those three seasons where he did precious little, yeah. he was the greatest gift. Let's put it this way: He's cricket. finally. Being the cricketer he thought he always was. Because he knew he had the potential. It's just he's finally realizing it. Which is three years late, but it's fine. Last season, I think seven games, 73 runs or 73. He got so dropped for Dhruv Jirel. Yeah. 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 La- the last game he performed in a post-match, he said, you know, nothing else mattered for me. Because I, I was backing myself. And my motivation for myself was the only thing that mattered for me. But it that's was, something he said. Me. Who was always there for me. No, but that, that, that his belief in himself was a constant even earlier. Oh, yeah. It just wasn't happening. But, and the belief of the franchise in him was also there See, earlier. he backed himself to finish off games. He backed himself to hit four sixes in an over. over. It's happening. He's finishing off games. He's hitting four sixes. He, the other day, he almost did that. Yeah. Half, that. He half, half of that. Half of that. Yeah, here. so he, he's getting there a year or two late maybe. But he's finally realizing that... He's just 24 even now. See, previously also he was finishing off games, just not in the favour of the Royals. Now, he's finishing off games in their favour. He was finishing off of the opposition. Exactly. Let me just tell you, for four years, he had won only one game. RCB. Now, he's won you two games in three matches in IPL 2024. Also, Orange Cap holder, Riyan Parag, who would have thought? Oh, please, I need to ask one question. What's his strike rate right now? I mean, 138 plus 150. To me, it does. I mean, his strike rate is well over 150. By this time, I mean, I'll be very surprised <laughs> if it's, it's not. going to be more than that. So, you can score runs coming in at number 4 or 5 at a strike rate of 150. When 3 wickets are down. Mm, interesting. It can. <laughs> it should happen. <laughs> and there aren't any power plays then. <laughs> the power plays finished. Yeah, the power plays finished. And you are actually under a pressure situation. Did Ryan Parag play himself in? No. no uh, he did today, play himself in. Today, yes. I think the credit to Ryan Parag. Because he, see, the one other thing with him was earlier when he was not doing well, and most inexperienced batters show you that okay, they can only play one day. We knew that he was a dasher, he had all the strokes, he can do it. But what he showed today is when the situation demanded, he took his time, bided his time, he did not start off as a dasher, which he often yeah. can, and take the attack to the opposition today. Took time, got you know, set, and showed his team from that. That slight situation where it seemed like precarious, from there took them to a much safer situation. And then when he saw, okay, now it's all under control. Even if I was to lose my wicket getting out, it's not a situation where we lose. And so now let me take that net run rate higher up because that might become crucial. And then he plays a stroke. So not only has he been showing form, but the kind of, uh, you know, sensibility, the maturity, and I guess that's also because down to he's playing all formats for his state side. And he's he had a red ball. fabulous chess mat, seven pl- consecutive And Ranji as well. Yeah. He scored the Even fastest century, yeah. Even that's what I'm tournament. saying. All format play, no, playing all formats. Yes, man, top run getter in top. Five, 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 five hundred ten runs, eighty five average. And average also, <laughs> and also, if you wow. look at it, it there was there were some very disparaging remarks that were made when Assam beat Bengal. I remember. And the kind of statement that Riyan Parag made showed that yes, he's in that zone wherein he can even tell the opponents that he can shut them up with the bat also. Yeah. And that kind of maturity was missing for three years, if you look at it. I think when Dhruv Jurel came in, when seven matches, 73 runs came, and knowing this could very well have been his last season, he had to capitalize on it. I, I, I know the secret to everything. It's not all format, nothing. He's grown a beard. Ah. He had a beard. Already. No, he didn't have. He oh. was always clean shaven. Yes. He, he looked did. very baby faced. He did have a stubble locationally, yeah. but never a full beard as if. When he did his bihu? No. Rarely. Rarely. No, no, he was always clean shaven. And Shane, correct me if I'm wrong, I think his social media activity has almost been zero. Ever yeah, he's not that. really been posting a lot. And last year it was he had touched his rock bottom because he was posting stuff on uh, social media. There was a ride that he was taking in Gohati and then he was just doing some kind What's of What's wrong with that? But he got trolled massively. Where is your attitude and you're not backing it up with performances? That was the demand. So he's you're saying his secret to success is he stopped 
posting on social media. And grow well, maybe all I think it's no, no, all, come on. All, all Lazy analysis. The, in a way, all those distractions that came yeah. along with the Maybe those it's improved now, in fact, because the other day when Virat was playing, he asked for a Virat 100. That's his last tweet, in fact. So he's just improved in terms of what he feels about the game, what he's asking for. Maybe he's cut down. Or maybe just having Virat. As you said, the lot of maturity and that that confidence that he has brought to this season. You know the so uh, you know avoiding all those distractions, not doing all those celebrations or that those pictures, those click pictures clicking went while taking catch with Tivati and everything. Now that has all or stopped. And now picking it, fights with some seniors of some his. Se- yeah. <laughs> no, that see the Bengal game. Uh, I know that he w- also got trolled for that because of his celebration. People thought he was arrogant, but the background, I yes. I don't blame. I don't blame him at all because he, yeah, he, on commentary, Ashok Malhotra, another former player, had said. And I, to be fair to Ashok Malhotra, I also don't think he said it with that intention. Yeah. What he said was that in the East, right, you know, Assam never had that kind yes, of stature. He's not wrong Bengal, he wasn't wrong. And because he's played for Bengal, Ashok Malhotra, yeah. so he knew so that. Yeah, so he, he said it in that regard. And obviously, by the time it reaches, you know, uh, Chinese, Chinese, mm, Chinese whisper, Chinese whisper. by the time it reached um, Rayan Parag, that they felt that they were being treated as inferior. Yes. And so when he uh, scored runs against Bengal, he said, we are not here, we are not even there, we are above, above them. them. We yes. are above that. Level. But that's okay. That, so that's that much is fine. That you is know. a mean streak that he had in this. Yeah. And that's a mean streak that he had. Also, that's the kind of main strip that can really be you know, that good was for vindication and vindication. vindication. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was that was papa that I had yes vindictification. <laughs> I, I think when you have numbers, when you have performance to back, you can do anything on the field. That's actually within exactly. the rules, which is within the rules. When you have numbers, Virat might pick a fight with any player he, but he also has numbers to show. He also have reasons to celebrate after the game because of those all those hundreds and all those numbers. So if Rian Parag. Uh, may have called him his idol and every time Virat plays he tweets or prays for his good then if he's running from the greatest Best. of the modern time then he should also no, have actually number. that is a criticism that went against Riyan Parag that nobody had problem with his attitude even when mm. he was playing they said that do something first what have ha. you done ha. 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 Walk the talk. if you've done something it's much like I, I don't say it but because I've been sitting on the discussion for very long it's now I've kind of picked it up from Siddharth but he keeps talking about RCB fans like it's okay to have arrogance, it's okay to be bullish about your team and praise your team, but at least win something. Yeah. So but have similar. Something to show for. Similar. Yeah. Have something to show for. Uh, I similar. mean, and then have attitude. Yeah. There was something Gautam Gambhir record. He said, yeah. in my playing days, I loved beating RCB some of his most arrogant fans. But but I must say, Siddharth said it before Gautam. Yeah yeah. I I mean Gautam Gambhir. I think I love the man for that reason. He calls a spade a spade. And it was like that RCB fans were behaving as if they had won every IPL edition that existed. Paper every CL T20 edition that was ever oh, they played. Won, no, they won heart, a lot of heart, social media trophies. They are everything. the social media champions. Heart winning champions, that's it. After it. They have a lot of hearts. Oh. Hmm. That gets it's the month of April, Gautam Gambhir will be trending very soon in fact. Yeah, second, tomorrow only, <laughs> World Cup <laughs> final, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> second April. Of course, yes. Yes. So you'd better hit your obsession for a six. Eh? <laughs> yeah. That is true. Yep. Okay, two questions I have. Mm. Two questions I have mm, at a macro level, larger level. Mm. One we kind of address, but maybe everyone can answer. Firstly, do you see Rajasthan Royals top four now? Uh, I think Saranj, me and Harshid have already answered that. Mm, I want to know from Shane and Siddharth. You could still stick to no or yeah, but it's see, early days. It's early days and see there's two reasons why I'm still waiting before I'm convinced. They're One, not convinced. Not yet. yet. Not, not because a they're always very good starters. Mm. That's always been their in fact last two seasons that they've been under the captaincy of Samson, gotten Cheher and all. They'd start the season like a house on fire. Then in the end <coughs> they'll have those two, three straight losses. And then they'll just drop down to fifth. They finished fifth both of last season. So you're not going to? Not yet. Also, the other major problem comes with their team composition. Batting I still composition feel they're like a batter shot. That's been a consistent problem of theirs. And on a day when you have a collapse, listen, Ryan Parag's not going to bail you out every time. 
Today they had Shubham Pandey, Dhrujura didn't even come out to bat and Nipma didn't even come out to bat. Isn't their batting in fact showing something new this time around from previous seasons? Because see the season before you had EHS Shri Fire, the season before that it was Josh Butler giving you. So this is something new that you've seen this time around where Balku Dharanda coming from the middle order instead. Plus how many teams have someone like Shimron Hetmar coming at number 8? That's true. Wow. One thing that Radha... Something like a wow. No, wow. I mean, so many days it was. look at the consistency of Rajasthan Royals. They have promoted Ravichandran Ashwin twice and he's given you yeah, the results. Actually, actually, to be actually. fair, it's Hetmeyer at 7 and Ashwin. I mm. mean, who could have predicted that Sh- Ravichandran Ashwin would be your attacker in the game against Delhi Capitals? Mm. He hit Northie for sixes, he hit mm. Kuldeep for sixes. And he bailed you out at that time also. Here, look at that partnership of uh, 40. I think that is equivalent to Goldust because Madwal and Bumrah were settling in on a spell. And the way Madwal was struggling them, that extra zip and bounce in the one Was helping. Man, now Pandya's captaincy tag, why didn't you start with an Akash Madwal in the first two games? Because. Answer the question. Because he blundered. He's we'll lost that here. later. Answer the question. Hmm? Rajasthan Royals. Uh, you didn't no, answer no, no, that. No, no. You forgot. I think, see, as I mentioned, like yeah. Chennai Super Kings, they will have a slump somewhere in the middle. Not convinced. Not convinced. Okay, second question. Uh, I think all of us picked Mumbai to be top four. Mm-hmm. So I want to know now, uh, are they still a top four team for you? This time I'll go first. Now I'm starting to have doubts. Mm. I am starting to have doubts because see, I understand. You picked Mumbai to win. I did, I did. I'm not asking about winning now, just top four. But top four now I have serious doubts because I can understand 2014 that team had match winners. but. In this 2024 team, who's the match winner? Tim David? No, on current well, form, I don't think so. Really clutching on straws, then if you <laughs> <pick> Tim, <laughs> Tim David. And you know what's going to... No, yeah, but I'm talking about the batting. Surya Kumar Yadav, but yet to come. But we come that's the key. Okay, yeah. okay his, his, season. his choice. You're not going with them. I am having serious of something. And I have a feeling that uh, Mohit might. Still going with them. I am. So now, tell us. Again. Why. See, this is uh, again a squad sans uh, Surukumar Yadav right now. Mm-hmm. Once he comes in, uh, they're getting things right now. Again, still early days. We're still seeing not just Mumbai, the other teams as well. They wait. One corrective measure today in terms of bringing back uh, an Akash Madhwal. Once they bring in Vadera, take out somebody like a, uh, you know, Dheer out, and then Surya also is in the mix. Bowling starts to get its act together. Rohit didn't fire today, but if he performs the way that he did the first two matches, uh, I think this squad still has the potential. Rohit's runs are an issue though. Huh? And, and, and uh, I think it's a team that comes with a lot of pedigree also that a slow start doesn't bother them much. So I think they still have the credentials of making the top four. I'm 50-50 right now for one simple reason. Previously when they started slow, you'd look at the team and be like, you know, this team gives you that faith, gives you that belief. Right now, the more I look at MI, and maybe it's because I were aware of what all is happening behind the scenes, but it's becoming more and more evident that this is a team in strife. And they are not pulling in the same direction. It is, everything seems to be going on some kind of a vibe. I am worried for them, genuinely. I'll just clearly say they'll not qualify. They're not making top, top for this time. Interesting. I, uh, I know we have split, but I, I still feel that they have it in them to make it into top four. I know it's not going to be easy. Uh, the competition is going to be tough. Especially with the KKR doing rather well, uh, that's going to be another team because you're considering Rajasthan, Chennai already looking like two very strong teams mm. uh, in the tournament. Um, and then you will have the likes of uh, GT, Lucknow, GT, GT, Lucknow. GT, fight it out. Yeah. So these are contenders. And so it's looking tough, but I don't know, I, st- I would still, I'll still stick by because I've seen it with Mumbai in the past. And, and just looking at this team on paper, I think this looks like a top four team to me. Whatever the reason that they're not winning is another thing. We can get into the details. But overall, it does look like a top four team, especially once Sky is back. I, if you ask me to compare, mm-hmm. I'd still say top four. But again, on paper, you know, on paper, to we had won the we had won the World, World Cup. Cup. So on paper, to Deccan Chargers was the strongest team in the first season, finished last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So on paper, to we don't go. But as of now, it's looking because like I don't know when Surya is coming back. If he misses the next no, two no, games, yeah. then you've played five, you've already lost five. You're in big trouble. The top four even after losing uh, the That first cannot four. happen every time. No? That, mm. It's so not 2014 anymore. It's not... Okay, everyone had their say. Next question. 
do you foresee a scenario because it's happened in IPL in the past that you reach a desperate stage <laughs> and you change the captain? Ouch. Now that is going to have a... Oh, because it happened in Mumbai, right? Ricky Ponting. Yeah, Ricky Ponting. 2013. Was almost asked to mm. give away the captaincy and Rohit Sharma takes over and rest as they say is history. Is history. It happened at Chennai Super Kings. If, if, if it is a, one of the worst performances, whatever be the reason. And to be fair, uh, captaincy has been one of the reasons. I'm not saying based on uh, public sentiment. Obviously, mm. cricketing decisions are not taken by public sentiments, whether there's booing, not booing, whatever. Cricketing decision, and we've seen it with Chennai also. It was decided yeah. because you're looking at the future, much fanfare, that's the guy to go with. But they changed. So, all I'm saying is that this is not unprecedented. Who thought David Warner could also be asked <laughs> to step down, right? The teams take that decision. Yeah. By the way, giving Mumbai's example also, not many thought that even if Hardik comes back, he'll take over the captaincy. People, I mean, there were rumors, but people still thought, no, 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 won't happen this year, next year. But it happened. So, my question is, if it was to be like five losses, six losses in a row, desperate situation, and uh, just taking a cricketing decision again, because as you know, Mumbai has told us that they're a ruthless franchise. Mm. Nothing succeeds like success, and they look at results and then take a call. Does anyone foresee a scenario that captaincy changes? Let's start... Uh, Ulta this time. Don't think so. Again, mm. uh, like all corporates do, let's say, because this is a corporate decision, if there's a hard decision you take, you stick by it and you're ready for the repercussions of it. This is, may just be the start. This is still not the be all and end all of it. And you took this decision keeping a longer horizon in mind. You weren't just looking at a bad season, let's say. Of course, you weren't hoping for it to uh, start off the way that it started. But when you made that huge call of letting go of the Indian captain, uh, opting for a new captain altogether who back then was your T20 captain and for all you know in uh, three months time could be actually the T20 captain going forward for the next two years. So keeping everything in mind you invested in a good three to four years and uh, maybe one bad season let's say uh, and they've seen the highs and the lows of the franchise. I think uh, they're going to stick to this decision uh, and uh, and yeah. For, for me, no change, uh, no going back on their word. Hardik Pandya remains the captain, no matter how hard things get from here. No, I mean, it happened in 2013, yes, but Mumbai were desperately looking for results. And we saw when Rohit Sharma took over the captaincy, you became a five-time champion in seven years. Okay. Now, when you picked Hardik Pandya, all of us were thinking, okay, maybe he could come into contention in 2025. That first shocker came when IPL 2024, he was including the Mumbai Indians team, he became the captain, okay? The first ruthless thing they did, okay, sideline your five-time IPL winning captain, one. Second, if they back out on that, suppose Mumbai have lost all five, six games, okay? And they say, no, 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 uh, let us go back to Rohit. Rohit, if that happens, the management will be questioned for lack of focus, lack of uh, direct, if you have vision, they will have no vision then. It's an ad hoc vibe that they have bought back a Hardik Pandya. You had some scores to settle with Rohit Sharma in that case. Okay, This concept of a so-called family, it's now a drama that is playing out right in the open. Oh, it's like a family. No, but but you said, okay, so oh, it's not a like family. A, like a family. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like that. Then then what stops them from taking another hard decision? If it's not like a family, okay. in your own words. So, if they take the decision now to drop a Hardik Pandya, what happens to their three to four year vision? Where is your captaincy designate? Is Rohit going to play until the age of 41, 42 for Mumbai Indians? So I am saying Mumbai finished last this season. They Does may be matter? willing to take that risk. Okay. Mm. Short term pain Fair point. for long term gain. Actually, okay. if this was say in the middle of a three year cycle, say the second year, then I think it was entirely possible that they may have sacked uh, or given the taken the captaincy from Hardik, given it back to Rohit. And but if I may add hmm. a bit to Shane's point, what he said, okay? Look at the circumstances as to how Hardik Pandya came back in 2024. Mumbai in 2021, 2022 and 2023 did not win the title. 21, they didn't make it to the playoffs. 22, they were wooden spooners. 23, through luck, they Kicking managed to make it to qualify too. But at the same time, Hardik Pandya was the captain of the Indian team. He had won the title in GT, got you to the finals, where it needed something out of the blue from Ravindra Jadeja to get that 6 and 4. Okay. 
So captaincy credentials, Hardik Pandya was not doubted. At the same time, Rohit's stock unfortunately started dipping. Same time. So Mumbai thought, okay, let's capitalize on it. Let us get Hardik Pandya back. He is a former MI guy who is now back in the mix. So your vision will now be questioned. You have not then groomed a leader. If you take the decision now, 2013, you had some guys. But they can't repeat that after 11 years. So if what they'll do is they'll give him another year. Make a new team in the mega auction, which every team is bound to do. And if they find that that doesn't succeed, I think then they may make the hard call, not this season. Yeah, not because, season. you know, uh, adding to Shane's point as well, you know, starting from giving captains to Hardik, they also knew that in 2025, you know, there's a mega, mega auction. So if they win or they lose from now, they will go with Hardik as their captain because they already knew what would come if we name Hardik as a captain in, instead of Rohit. Now that they have, you know, uh, disappointed the entire fan base of Mumbai Indians or Rohit Sarma fans, now they will it's a corporate decision. So they, they, they'll stick to it. They'll not back down in, in fear or uh, whatever it, it is that no, now. No, but I, uh, I'm not talking about crowds. They will, they, they I'm talking about corporate decisions are based on performances. So only talking about performance. Forget what crowds. So they, they, will give, they will give Hardik the full season. And now, under his captaincy in the next season, they'll make a new team. If, if well, Mumbai Indians uh, finishes in somewhere in the lower down the table. Also, it's not completely a Hardik team yet. It's a team he's inherited. So this was anyway part of the 2025 mega auction that yes, we get a leader and then we give him the 25 window. We know his philosophy. But We've had that talk with him and we hmm. want to rebuild with him. That decision is taken. So it's an incomplete story right now. End of next year, the picture gets uh, complete. No, but I would take that, that he doesn't get the team if he really inherited a very average team. I think he's got damn lucky to be leading one of the finest assembled squads that there is in the IPL. So the whole thing of, oh, okay, you know, makeshift thing, team is Joby hai, we don't have... If you had said this to me last season, I would have still bought it because last season they did have a few gaping holes, some youngsters were there, was unproven, and there was no boom and a lot of issues were there. This time he's got a ready-made team which is capable of winning a title. Whether they win, not finish last is another thing. He already inherited a team capable of winning the title. He's got that. So next season in auction, of course, he may choose the way he wants to. That's another thing. But he's not unfortunate in that sense that he got a team. So this is a makeshift thing. He came here. That's the first thing. Secondly, I mean, it's just a question which is hypothetical. I, I mean, uh, we don't, and none of us, because we're sitting here, none of us see that scenario of where or that thing happening anytime now. It's not going to happen so early. Let's be honest, it's not going to happen so early. And which is why it's easier for all of us, me included, to say, no, this is not happening. It's easy for us to say it now because they've only lost three games. For all you know, from here on, he goes on to have one of the finest seasons uh, and Mumbai end up doing very well. So then this question is completely moot. It mm. still happened. It's early days. So let me put that straight. It's not that we are saying we've reached that stage. No, not even close. But all I'm saying is that if he was sitting here seven games down, eight games down with one win, I think even the staunchest of supporters and backers will begin to question. I, I'm not saying your minds will change now. But if that was to happen, and you know, you know, public memory is short, uh, our highs and lows also happen very fast. If you're sitting here eight, nine matches and the results haven't come your way, you may be tempted. I, I'll tell you honestly, again with Jadeja, we didn't know, you know what was going to happen. It happened. Nobody thought it will happen so fast, but they took a call because they said we have to stem it. The other thing is, if you look at Hardik Pandya and Harshit made a point that, listen, you're looking at the India captain in three months time. Oh, hello, nobody knows mm. who's going to be your captain in three months time. At the moment, I agree with you that he is the front runner to take it from Rohit Sharma. By the way, forget that. Few months ago, none of us even thought that he will not be captain at the T20 World Cup. <laughs> that also came as a bolt from the blue. I think there was Honestly, see, there was nobody was who had nobody who had thought. It's now. That's what I'm saying. In hindsight, you are saying no, after the Afghanistan. That, see, at that time, we had all known that you know Hardik Pandya is going to be the captain. But that changed, right? And today, now but today, you are saying always subject to see. Everyone knew no, there was the no, one no, series, no, and the moment no, that the, no, the two no, come no. back. Of course, no, so it's just saying it now. Game. You can pick up, no, you can pick up all our programs. But that door was always no, ajar, right? No, it wasn't a shut no, door. No, no, it was. 
Uh, you go, you go check out our own shows. We, I am one times. had declared because we had said for a year he's not played. Mm. If you had to play them, so they would months. have. Mm. It's now very easy. Even when we broke the news of the two of them coming to Afghanistan, you go back and even that was a shocker for many. It was. Yep. It was a shocker. It's easy to say now because we are sitting after the post the event. It was tough. Anyway, the point is it was tough. Now what happens is you look at how things change. I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. I hope it doesn't happen like that. But worst case scenario, as I was saying, have the most disastrous IPL season. Finish bottom of the table. Now you may have that long rope for him. Your mood would have changed slightly. You may still feel that, okay, next season he should be Mumbai Indians captain. But your outlook towards Hardik Pandya captain would change slightly. Mm -hmm. Then, if he does not have a good T20 World Cup, where he will be a deputy yes. and India does not do well. It's not necessary he becomes. Sometimes you think of fresh. There could be someone like a Shubman Gill who's captaining now. You never know. Scores with what? bat. Go. I'm saying few months ago we were saying KL Rahul was your next captain. Yeah. He was prepared, ready. And look how quickly we moved away from that. There was a phase Shreya Sayer was almost yeah. being touted as your next captain. We move from there. So I am saying in Indian cricket, because of the competition, because of how I know it's sometimes unfair that players are judged very fast. Fast in the sense, uh, you know, not unlike earlier days when captain was made, he got a long rope. Now it's not. I mean, if I dare I say, if someone like Virat Kohli was literally told that if you do not want to be T20 captain, you will also not be ODI okay. captain. If he can be told, I'm sure anyone can be overlooked for captaincy. So it's not a given that he is your future T20 captain. Things change very fast. It's like a revolving door. The Indian T20 captaincy at this point in time is not a one-dimensional door. Open, I mean push and pull. It's some revolving door. We have so many contenders, but now until May 1, who is the contender for the captaincy? There is no it's contender. It's going to be Rohit. Rohit will captain. I, I think uh, but can, the uh -huh. ODI World Cup and that whole campaign of India played a part in Rohit returning to the T20 team. The strike rate with with Rohit, uh, with which Rohit played, uh, Rohit played and you know Hardik was India's captain one and a half years back when Gujarat Titans won their first title. They made the second consecutive final last season and almost won that final. That was a time when Hardik's name was on the top of the list that he is the he is the captain captain and these both will not return after that England semi-final. But now when India won the Asia Cup first, that's the ODI format, I understand, the, I'm not mixing formats. And then that whole 10 matches on the trot wins and that whole yeah. campaign, that that played a major role in Rohit yes. and Virat. Yes, if, if but you think like that, I'd give an example. Before all of this had happened, before Asia Cup had happened, before that World Cup streak, Rohit Sharma had told you, in a press conference in the US. Yes, So, that's a, so maybe yeah, even Indies before too. these performances Which happened, was, well, in yeah. his mind he had not. And again, you're right that it was Hardik's doing well in IPL that he became the next. But I'm saying just as one season, see before that he was not being spoken no. of. Now there was KL, Rahul, yeah. Shreya, but just like one fantastic IPL season could prop him, prop him to become your current T20 yeah. captain. Similarly, one bad season can pull you down. Com I'm saying. Completely agree with you. Cricket. I think uh, if GT might win this, then Shubman Gill might be touted as yeah, the next captain. Yeah. Exactly. Who knows? Yeah, true, true. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know he's Agreed. now showing fa uh, form in all format. He becomes your regular player. If you have to look at future, see with MS also it happened like that. I give you an because I was traveling with the team at that time, covering in the West Indies. I went for the World Cup. I came here to Mumbai when Greg Chappell got sacked. Mm -hmm. You know the talk, and then that's when Dhoni was given captain. See, because I was traveling. You know, speaking to a lot of people, I, you know, who are the captain, just to refresh your memory, there was a Yuvraj Singh who was your vice captain. Mm. He was looked at as the next guy. He was, and he was scoring runs, everything was there. MS was never spoken of, he's still a youngster compared to them. There was a Virinda Sevak, there was a Gautam Gambhir, all of them Suresh were, Rana yeah, was yeah, all of them. But Before what, MS, what, what, what happened? Not to that extent, but of course, Yuvraj was vice captain yeah, by yeah. before. But out of the blue, boom, mm. he went with Dhoni. So I'm saying, Nothing is guaranteed. I am a uh, Hardik captain, but I guess permanent captaincy, you know, all format, and it helps if you're an all format captain in India. Rest of the world, they've gone with different captains yeah, in yeah. different formats. In India, they've almost kept all format captain, whether it's a Virat Kohli or MS Dhoni before that. They may Rohit have Sharma. had success in one format, not so much in other. And Rohit Sharma, they prefer that. So if Shubman becomes that guy, who knows? Who knows? They'll say, okay, we don't, you know, want to change anything. Let him be. So, Hardik not playing test also 
not working yeah. in his favor, yeah. so they yes. cannot have a multi-format captain and you know and exactly different why. different captain different format. Exactly. Yeah, so there is a reason right. why M S Dhoni said. Multiple captains will not work in India. We are all seeing that manifestation now. Because yeah, he understands the system. He understands the system. Because yeah. you need a you know straight power of chain of yeah. command and things like that. One person. Grooming, yeah. how to do it. That's our system, you yeah. know. Uh, and what happens is, if you're a captain in one format, you're wanting different things. You're pulling in separate way. Not like you know, sometime in Australia and whatever that you will be completely non-interfering. If it's mm. not your format, you just leave it. You follow yeah. that. The selectors play a very powerful role here. Players are given. So a lot of those things are there. Maybe that's why. My other question is, who can save Hardik Pandya right now? Hardik Pandya? He's bad. His, no, Hardik Pandya will save Hardik Pandya. Not just bad. Get, in, get a uh, match where you get take three wickets. Or contribute a very valuable knock. 40 Leave runs. On the front, have your tactics See, good. Nothing's celebrated as we know in our country more like runs. I think he needs runs. He needs good knocks right now. Again, today, had he scored a 50. And today was a great the, opportunity. The Best perception. Opportunity. Got Maybe today opportunity. could have been that to starting a, you know, point of the perception beginning to change. More than wickets, I think he needs runs right now. Middle order, bad start to the season. If he can get, even from here, about a 450 run season, he will be looked at very different. Yeah, yeah. winning matches. Stop putting uh, on I, a I, facade. Yeah, I think the uh, whole team. Of, uh, okay, what what was his most outrageous thing. statement? Oh, but the bowling looked good. Really? Uh, la, After last, 277? Last. He, was, he was satisfied. You know, I my was bowling. happy with what I saw. No, yeah. that he's trying to put a good boy image. Yeah. So that, you know, he can endear himself to the fans. Get okay. your tactics right. Back yourself. You were number four when you were with your title-winning franchisee. You demoted yourself to seven in the game against GT, and you lost. You Bumbra. did not. Yeah, Bumra yeah. coming in fourth over. And promoting himself higher up the order, we needed Tim David to come in the game against uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad. Here, his entire unit collapsed. Today, his bowling plans were rather spot on, but he had 40, 50 runs too low to defend. But I, I think no, you know, him alone making runs won't. Help him much. The whole team might. The winning. So, you know, might. Uh, so, so just to add on that, it's not just Hardik. Of course, I agree. Mm. But a Rohit Sharma can help a Hardik. Yes. Today he tried. Apparently, today he did. When is the those, crowd not to move? Yes. No, no, I'm not talking about boom. Achha, he did. Yeah. Yes. Achha, he did. See, tried, you guys. We guys kept saying on sports today. When will this happen? When and will this happen? Us. And they saw us. Rohit Sharma was watching us on our smartphone. They did it. It was third game today and it was pretty evident. You know, there is Pandya. a video going viral which is feeling again in the deep. And he was like very good. good. You know, very good. That's the exactly uh, what we Courtney Walsh, Brian Lara example that I gave you. Co Brian Lara, the Jamaican crowd was upset, mighty upset with a young Lara taking over Walsh's captaincy. They were ready to you know, not boo him. There it would have been even worse. You've been to the West Indies, you know. Oh. So, so there he put his hand around uh, young Lara and walked on the field, told everyone we are friends. So, if Rohit has done that well, uh, you guys gave uh, Virat Kohli's example for Steve Smith. Yeah. So, Rohit has done that. But I was talking more about from cricketing point of view. The team. Uh, Rohit, the batter, can help him hmm. by scoring runs and helping him win the game. Rohit, the batter, hasn't helped him in many a season, though. But this time he has performed. Uh, uh, a comparatively bowler, well. The bowler comparatively can help him. Oh, yes. Yeah, true. A sky, a batter when he comes back can help him. Whenever. Atala Kvarma, a batter can help him, but the team can help him. Because Nadal for that, I think for that, this Hardik Pandya of the franchise had to have that talk with the you know players around. I think there there are a lot of differences going on. No, these but I, but it, it's not that they are not trying. No. Ha, exactly. These players the, also the know there is a mega auction next year, mm. so they no, but it's not for the auction. I don't. No, I'm saying everything. So it's not just to do with let's say you know two. Uh, people inside the camp fighting with each other or whatever the factionalism which may exist but the players also right now know at the back of their minds that there is retentions that has to happen no. there is uh, yeah. we need to do well you tell me one season. thing you tell me one thing uh, uh, rohit sharma is going to perform well because there is an auction next year. A Jaspreet Bumrah is going to perform because he's no, no, worried no, about the auction no, next no, no. year. A Sky when he comes like, Not these, see, saying, these are all players who are for sure getting rated then, minus, let's say. Then, so I'm only talking about these big guys. Everyone else, okay, see, can Rohit chip in. Sharma, again, if three, four right. of these big guys fire, including a Hardik Pandya, these are the fulcrum of the team, they'll do well. And there is no reason to think that they will only perform because of next season. I think all of them are committed to Mumbai Indians, whatever personal differences if they have, whatever Insta stories they put out. <laughs> I think once they wear the Mumbai Indian jerseys, because they're so competitive guys, when they're on the field, 
okay fine rohit got out early today but mm. you know that's not like something you would have wanted event. right he just so, but i think for that hardik has to have ask for help hardik has to go to his senior for let's say for a rohit and a bumra and uh, talk to no, them and ask for help for what okay, please okay. just go run for no, me please, please, please get wickets for me no. all please, it, it, please no no i'm i'm saying it's the captain's responsibility to remove all those fractions in the team he need to have to talk with the rohit for his seniors and ask uh, talk about the game the first game he captained sending rohit there and then everything happened then in the second game and third game now he is comparatively well settled but crowd still is not in his favor he has crowd to, will not understand that but yeah. if the crowd will if not. those these these seniors will start helping him on the field and off the field but rohit keeps but helping him and last but time when uh, hardik ordered rohit to go you saw the outrage that it generated here so he is in the catch 22 there were also there were last match there were also visuals which later came out of rohit when things are going out of hand so rohit is setting the field, the field and so, so, hardik pandya so, was so agree to his to point to his point they are helping him na they are helping him by what he, hardik you are saying hardik needs to go what ask please rohit bhai aaj run bana dena nahi nahi dena please rohit bhai uh, uh, please just see if i have wickets le lena roh roh bhai please if things are getting out of my hands please take over please so he please, does that please, he's done please, it please, bumrah he's done it so he did it that, 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 that's what that's yes. what i'm saying yes. that's what i'm saying he went to ask but he's help. doing it still not what thing as a as a captain only and you know you cannot lead if teams not behind you but i to be fair i think he's doing extra report, that i think he's actually guilty of doing too much that yeah. i am going to the other extreme and saying you should stop doing that and take control what is happening you see one thing is for sure that the booing and the crowd thing has gotten to him and i can name two three things that are happening one that extra smile sometime i think is forced forced yeah, okay he's forcing those smile even after losing even those statements to show everyone everything is fine don't do it if you're upset be upset no be angry be natural that is showing you that it's affecting him secondly he's fumbling mumbling his way through interviews as we pointed out in my processes ha the mm-hmm. that is another and forget <laughs> his team interview. no i forgot his team had to say you know good toss to lose mm-hmm. nahi but said it i mean, i'm just saying that is a bit flustered because crowd were because crowd were booing you can make out that is flustered thirdly the timing of all the pr <coughs> interviews and where they are playing out and all that we discussed you yeah, know that then fourthly you know being jolly on the field asking for everyone's help hugging them all of that i am saying most of his energy is going towards this to sort out this mess which is clearly affecting him it clearly is right i am saying you will have to develop a thick skin you have to say forget all that let me be the what made him a successful captain in gujarat was his ruthlessness as captain mm. he needs to get back to that he needs to be captain he's been given that he doesn't have to be goody two shoes yeah. and show the world he's nice and hugging no take tough calls if you have to tell a player to go somewhere to feel whatever do it but you want to change in, in do it in this thick skin the season will end no but it, it cannot be developed cannot. in two three see, four see. matches <coughs> but see there is a see Excuse he me? is now trying to justify that he's a nice guy mm. i know there are reasons and i have i have stuck sadat may have not i have stuck by fans booing him that's natural fans are emotional people they'll boo him that's fine mm. he needs to get used to it players football players all other players have to get used to now they go to a certain stadium they get booed yeah. so they're going to are they going to give that as an excuse that oh, i could not perform today because i got no you were used to it he or, or to maybe him. maybe what has happened is in the two years that we saw hardik pandya the captain right whatever he touched on to gold whatever mm. be it in india or be it in ipl mm. whatever he touched on to gold maybe of all the times now in 2024 when he's in in uh, the legacy team captaincy the law of averages has caught up with him ah, that's, maybe, but that's leaving no, too much to chance no 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 no, no. it's not exactly. too much maybe see no, it had to have law of averages that's lazy analysis no, no, no it's not lazy <laughs> at this point i'll tell that. you why no no i don't mind When I have you that. seen Hardik Pandya getting frustrated? In all the years that he was there, even as captain of the Indian team or of the IPL team, of GT, I've seen know. him. No, no, no. There were times he gets frustrated. No, no, frustrated and flustered is different. Uh-huh. Okay, not flustered. I, I can't. Now remember. here, yes, plus you, batting have. wise, bowling wise. No, so what is the law of averages got to do with? It? Yeah, you are saying he's in he's in unfamiliar territory. That I will agree. That he's never seen yeah. this kind of hostility is not come. No, the coffee with Karan episode after that he would have no more. Yeah, but but, but there were no, even long no, even there were a lot of bad press. No, 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 that time way. when he was India's captain, he had nothing to lose. They were those were normal series with people knowing that Rohit and Virat will come back. They are on a break. Also, and, and so you finish and uh, with the new franchise. When they won the first World Cup, the whole team. You no, know, the the problem is now he's acting like he's alone. 
team is not running behind him team is not performing a captain is as good as his team if that's not that's he's acting like that yeah i don't know you can look at it if mumbai will not win and if hardik might end up you know a season with 500 runs that doesn't matter It's 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 of no use. No, but how is he showing that nobody is supporting me? He's never said that. So, he is to he praising the say, team. He will he not is. say it. But if he yeah. has asked, you think the narrative will be like that? Mm. That if Mumbai is not done well, the the players themselves won't play for him. Won't play. No. Yeah. Is point that is, what you're saying? That is what the no, narrative no, no, no. will be. The point is that when he came back to Mumbai, and if if the reports are to believe. to be believed and if there is actually a captaincy clause in his contract coming back to mumbai that that means he have asked for it no that i will be the captain of mumbai is knowing very well that there is a certain rohit sharma jasprit bumrah so what is wrong with the clause but now you know now, now you are not walking the talk no you are not performing you you are not ah. leading as well you know you have lost three on three on the trot So, so you what can he do with that? He, it's but up he to the team manager to remove him. He but could, he can say, "You've seen worse times." What I feel, or hmm. apart from all these in front of 32 cameras on the field and every PR stance, he could still have a genuine talk with the team, with the, with the seniors. They can still sit down, and it's not too late for Mumbai. Maybe they, can, they have. And, he, he, and he, 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 he might, he can still ask for help. And if, if, but why uh, does he want to if, cry if, out for help? Team is Why does he ask? Things are not going to his way, and it, there's no shame asking help from seniors here. No, I think he's asking for help, Saran. Saran, I think that's the problem. No, I think I think he's not. I think he's not. This all uh, he needs to be his own man. He needs to do whatever, whatever he's done, whatever he, he thinks is right. He will make mistakes. He will be good. Yeah. He should go and trust back his process, which helped him win that one title, yeah. which took him his team to the final right. in the next season. Trust that crowd. I'm telling you, what is worrying him is the. Crowd, crowd behavior, the bad press, and don't tell me you don't see those racist terms being used for him in social media. You and I know clearly he gets after that. Too. But in that's that affect, title, that will affect in, anybody. In that title, uh, title winning campaign, he had a certain Shubman Gill who topped the run charts that season. Correct. He had a Mohammad Shami who took the most wickets in season. I am still, I am still, say, yeah, I am still saying the same thing. Mohit was in 2023. He don't no, have to hurt people forcefully. He for, forcefully. He don't have to yes. show it to cameras. He need to have a genuine talk with them but and ask them. Does he need to tell these players yeah. like you have to perform for me? Players yes. are. They are going to perform. Play, but Rohit Sharma is going to see, perform. See, Rohit Sharma maybe. No, but one second. Rohit Sharma would be unhappy. Let's assume. And no, I don't know. Not no, Rohit Sharma. Okay, I'm giving you an example. example. I'm giving. Okay, let's say. Let's say Rohit Sharma and three, four, five. Okay, agreed. Yeah. They are unhappy with what happened. and i'm not blaming them for that anyone will be just as i i'm not blaming hardik for wanting to be captain everyone will look out for their own interest similarly if somebody is hurt i agree i agree but are you seriously telling me if they are hurt rohit needs uh, hardik needs to speak to them to get the best out of them i don't think so also who's to say if, that they're if already they not if they even if he's not spoken to them they i you they are see top level athletes are very competitive people in general they hate to lose Yeah. they will never they will never want to be seen no matter what the situation be seen as you know inferior to anybody else whether it's a batter it's a bowler when they go out on the field they may not be happy they may they may be blaming the circumstances or the situation they are or the captaincy was taken away they may be or they are unhappy that their favorite player has been removed uh, unceremoniously and they are all of that but once you go on to the field you go uh, jaspreet bumrah and you can see it he wants to be the guy who wants to dominate trouble batters Rohit Sharma wants to be the guy to hit sixes the way he does and dominate. Suri Kumar Yadav when he comes will also be want to be that. So I don't think a Hardik talking to them will bring their performance up. Also, that are they already they not doing it? Have. We've seen three matches. Is Jaspreet Bumrah not doing Jaspreet Bumrah things? He is. Is Rohit Sharma not? In fact, he's ex- exceeding expectations. Rohit Sharma with the bat in many ways because given how his numbers really panned out for the last six, seven, eight years, you don't see Rohit Sharma getting to the starts that he's getting. Minus today, look at his first two knocks. Mm. So are they not helping? Do they are getting their act together? The other senior pros. It And is, it in is fact, just tactics that is missing from Hardik Pandya. Plus, he is clearly rattled by the outside noise, which is an unnecessary distraction. Leave aside tactics as one part. Hardik Pandya is missing. Listen, this is the same Hardik Pandya who one time asked one of the uh, water boys or one of the guys to run drinks. Then bring it on the time that he wanted, and he said, "Do over pehle manga tha." Kya kar raha tha? And then he said something which I can't say on camera. Yeah, true, true. That is Hardik Pandya. 
Where the hell is that guy? That guy won titles. That guy took GT to the brink of a second title. That guy wrested the T20 captaincy from the hands of a Rohit Sharma. Practically got the seniors kicked out. Where is that Hardik Pandya? This goody two shoes is not Hardik Pandya. This yeah. is a PR image. But there's a difference, you know, from a a brand new franchise and a and an old franchise which has already won five titles. No, but the person, cannot, person doesn't, the person doesn't add, change. Add, no, add, flip add, me out. No, you know, it's like it's, a, it's a, I'll give you an example. It's like we often times say, na, Virat, uh, when he was a youngster, he came in and you do it well. You know, some people hated his guts. Some people hated his aggression. Some people hated how you would say, oh, hmm. you know, this is not the right way. But you knew, just like Samson had his power in his hair. No, hmm. uh, so similarly. Virat's not power, not Sanju, <laughs> Samson Delaya. Samson right? yeah. of Gaza. Yeah. Yeah. So if he had that power. Similarly, people knew that the, the one of the reasons Virat could perform at that exceptional level was that aggression. That made him Virat. It would fire him up and then they would say, teams reach a situation where they would say, don't sledge him. Because you sledge him, you bring out that Virat mm. out of it. So I'm saying similarly, the power of Hardik would be in that arrogance. You know that arrogance, that swerve with which he used to bat for for India, the swerve he would show on the field, mm. the arrogance that he showed otherwise. I think that is his strength. Mm. That's his personality. Even if the franchise has changed, I agree, the franchise has changed, but the leader has to set the culture of the franchise. So an Indian team over the years has been very different team. The Indian team under a Mohammad Azruddin was very different. Yeah. The Indian, so you take the culture of the leader. The Indian team under Sachin was very different. The Indian team under Dhoni Dada. is different. Dada was Dravid. different. You take, you adapt that culture and, and you make the team like that. So now, if if he is, see, he should not feel, I'll tell you what, the, what is happening. He's given that, he believed in that. So he asked for his captaincy, he got it. I don't think he had any self-doubts then. Because no. he wasn't exposed to the outside noise. As soon as he got exposed initially, he must have seen on social media, maybe brushed it aside. Then he goes uh, to play the first match, gets booed. Second match, mm. gets booed. Third match, gets booed. Now it's reached a stage where even the commentator has to come and say, crowd, behave yourself. Ah, crowd. Yeah, but I can't understand why that happened, mm. by the way. No, no, the commentator yeah. needs to do yeah. that. Also, look at the commentator in question. The, the paragon of partiality, apparently. Yeah. Are you, are, are you a school principal telling uh, yeah, kids to should. shut up? Why, why are you saying Paragon of Pasha? I mean, the guy in question is very openly championed Mumbai cricket and Mumbai cricketers. I'm, I'll name yeah, him I mean, Sanjay Manjrekar. This is a guy who's uh, put his... Uh, that was very absurd. Asking crowd to crowd behave. What? Yeah. <laughs> because you know what? That I think that will always have an adverse effect. Mm. The crowd will get nasty. Oh, nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Mumbai don't do that. Don't tell uh, like there were reports that don't carry... Rohit Sharma support banners. Yeah. That will even mm. make, make it worse. Stories about they'll get chucked out. I don't know they're true or not. So uh, we won't go by that because yeah. I don't think that is true because they kept booing him every yeah, time he was did, shown yeah. on screen. And yet there was no instance of any crowd being chucked out. So allow the crowd that freedom so long as they don't cross the line, I repeat. No abuse, no racial statements, nothing, you don't do it. So I'm saying, think of it from Hardik Pandya's view. This happened, gets booed everywhere, social media, everything is saying. So maybe, maybe he then starts to have self-doubt that maybe I don't deserve to be captain here. Nobody is accepting me as the leader here. You know, self-doubt will come that he was given that position. He believed in it. self -doubt. As soon as that happens, then what happens? Then you are not your own man. Then you are saying, okay, if I am not, then I need to consult everyone. You help me do this. You help me do that. Let me do some interviews. Let me smile some. Let me back everyone. Let me hug everyone. Let me smile every time we lose. You are trying to do that to show that, okay, you are the good guy. And somewhere there was doubt is crept in that maybe... Maybe I, I didn't deserve to be the leader so fast of this franchise. Don't let that happen. You come, you say, I've true, been given. But it's true. It's, it's human nature. nature. It's, 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 three games. it's already happened. No, it's true. You know, being a uh, uh, captain of a new franchise, which has won only one title, and a franchise ex yes. is Mumbai Indians. And that too, when you have succeeded Rohit Sharma, who has won you all five titles in the last nine seasons. It's very difficult to be Arthur Kumar. That's why I'm saying you still need to have I'm not saying asking for help means, you know, you Rohit, you perform, your Bumbra Bhai, please, you perform. I'm just saying, just to rally the whole team behind him, you know, now... I think he's doing that. I don't you know. you should check out what Mumbai Indians put out after the SRH loss. I mean, they had done that. that. That's nothing to go by. No, no, but again, see. That's as stage managed as the PR interviews. Exactly. Everything can Rohit be stage which managed. Was, which was the Rohit they put up those social media nonsense. Even that he and Sachin Tendulkar both... Uh, ah, the speech in the dressing room. Yeah, that, that was speech in the dressing room. Edited and everything. 
But fine. That, see, but uh, by that time, famous Rohit Hardik Thug when Ro- uh, Roy joined the MI camp before the first. See, game. even Rohit ha- uh, Hardik hugged him twice, and you know they were talking. I'm still saying, you know, when the when team is not in your favor and there are several camp, several factions inside a team, it cannot function well. Uh, Rohit performed in the first game, second game, but Mumbai lost both. Bumrah picked up three wickets in second game. Mumbai again lost. Today, even a Hardik performed around uh, close to 40 runs. Still Mumbai 30, lost. 30, 32. 30, 30, 34, 34, 34. 34. 34 runs. Mumbai lost. Yeah. That means what? That means everything. Today right was golden the, opportunity. But he squandered. If, if he had got 72 today, and you know, got sent and if Mumbai had lost, then and Mumbai would have won. Even Mumbai if they had lost, no close game. He got 70. Some salvation. Yeah. That same crowd. Or redemption rather, no, he doesn't. There, there, there are many he's not seeing everything is not right. But some redemption for him. Everything Even though right. he doesn't need to be looking for redemption either. Mm. I know, but, but it's you, you are Nick, you, what you said was right. He, actually, now he is realizing that he is not yet ready for to capture such a big. No, he big was ready. In his he's he's ready. ready. Now, but now doubts. The, yes. All these odds outside. Nick, Nick, my cricket and these games are only you know for the fans, for the people. They are, the, they are the real strength. No, yes. fans don't say that. You say fans. Not no, RCB no, no, fans. No, fans. No, no, no. no, no. Fans. Just fans. Uh, Please fans. don't say it. He is very no, 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 I'm not starting. No, 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 no. This is nearly I midnight. Have, no. No, no. I see, not, I have a I problem. Just, I am just saying. Let me finish. The air sport is for the fans. Uh, every greatest player of all time. Every under. This, this is all for the fans. But if. Fans are not behind you. You cannot perform well. You know, if exactly. the amount of booing he is getting, is he still strong that he is not? You know, uh, uh, no. He is. At first time I've seen a weak side to him, he which is, is okay. He's human, but maybe, maybe but slowly, gradually he, he can't, can't block it out. He can't he block, it out. block it because see, it is in the Indian he system is. that he, he can't can. block it out. He can't. Listen, coffee with Karan was very different. You know why? It because no, no, outside. not just that. It's not like after it happened, he went to a stadium where 50,000 people were booing him every time. It happened and he was he was dropped from the Indian team. Yep. For two months, he was not there. That episode had been removed. Yes, yeah. it's I been removed. It was a pretty boring episode. So a few uh, yeah. few days before. Oh, it's terrible. It's that was in bad I, I, You know who I really felt bad for in that episode? Kiel Rahul. Exactly. Yeah, Kiel Poor Rahul. guy did nothing. Yeah, he, he, He's yeah. guilty by association. Nothing. Exactly. And I that's where it all thing. started. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. That's the thing. I mean, ah. see, so that, that, there is a awesome. there is a problem when everybody says it's stage managed, all this PR etc. See, it was unnecessary for Hardik Pandya. It's an unnecessary distraction. And if I have to look at the booing in the Indian ethos, in the Indian ethos, if I have to look at it, then by that logic, when the fans booed Sachin Tendulkar at the Wankhede, Day, they were right. They were absolutely right to boost Sachin Tendulkar. Why? One run of 21 balls. Yeah, they were fine. But why? That was the one time that Sachin Tendulkar actually was not in the groove. And yet the fans booed him. But fans are like that. One more time. Why did it agitate Virat Kohli? I'm saying fans are emotional people. Not em- See, they're not fans. robot. There has to the, be a they're, legitimacy. They're, they're, there has to be. If suppose, if suppose an opposing captain has cheated, okay? Oh, one decision has not gone your way. Okay, if it's not gone your way, then you can understand the booing. But just because Hardik Pandya dreamt of MI captaincy and the management decided to give it to him, the management decided to. I asked the same question to the fans. What wrong did Hardik Pandya do? Hardik Pandya can take and play in his backyard. Don't give the fans. It's there. 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 What's the problem? Okay. By that same extent, what's the problem of fans expressing their displeasure? They're not happy. They then, want to. They then a Sachin Tendulkar, no, then a Virat Kohli like should not have said no, that. No, no, no. A Virat Kohli was rattled so to such an extent. I'm playing for India. Yeah. So well, that's a dumb mentality. I'm sorry. Huh? That is a silly mentality that I'm playing for India. Don't boo me. They were well see, within their rights to boo me at that when point. When that happened, the fans suddenly stopped. Oh, this is Virat. So let us not do it. They didn't don't stop. They never stopped. Bang Wankhede did yeah. not stop. Really, no, it didn't happen. No, my point was when the match happened. And that collision happened with Vinay Kumar and uh, Ambati Raidu was the batter in question, if I'm not mistaken, who was run out. Fans didn't. They gave it to him. They leathered him. And in fact, he had to address it post-match saying, and okay, that is the mentality we come with in cricket because it's always been, cricket's always a country first sport. But again, go, go to Netflix and watch the Beckham documentary. Which was there. The man was pilloried all over. Yeah. The, by the, the see, 1998, really what happened? Correct. 1998, Argentina, he became the target. Pantomime villain. He yeah. became the pantomime villain after 1998, Argentina. Okay. But 
But again, no fans have every right to boo fans, fans because the game yes, is played for the fans. But again, if it is on a legitimate vibe, no, no, it then is, what is legitimate? Yes, yeah. legitimate and vibes are two very different things. No, one it second, one, one See, second, one second. You had your, you said. Hardik Pandya has the right to aspire to be captain. Yeah. Similarly, every person, every bum on the seat who's paid money to come and sit there has his own aspirations, his own liking, his own disliking. He has the right to disagree with the decision. Yeah. And he disagrees with Hardik Pandya. He does not want to see Hardik Pandya as the captain and he has the right to boo him. As long as he's not being abusive, he's not being racist, he has the right. He is. He is the. He is a fan. We are. If he is, there is no fan. There, there no is. Team. No, there is a Western mentality forcefully being shoved down our what throats when we have to that? justify. What is Western? You are talking in that? about what adding football. You are adding I'm football. I am not. I am not. I did not mention we football. We give football examples, but that's a different cultural setup all But I did not even mention football. We have been I doing said every fan. We have been doing that. Look, you. But you now in sport. India, the problem is. We know what is happening in the Indian mentality context. You have got yeah, peers. If you think, if I'm you giving football, no, if you're talking, if I'm giving football examples, I should not because it's Western. Then let's not even talk about cricket. It's a Western sport. Because that see, is an English sport. No, no. So let us only talk about sport that is. I'm talking about the fan behavior thing. So why? The fan behavior. I'll tell you why. In fan India, is there is a toxic mentality pervading when it comes to the TNs. Okay, for Hardik Pandya. One section and one TN is backing up on each other and then abusing the other section. You are having a proper civil war when it comes to that in social media in India. What's let us admit that. that. I am it is saying what is wrong. wrong as long as they are not, if let's say, if if you go to a ground, as long as they are not abusing anybody else. As I said, if they are booing someone or coming up with songs which has no abuse, no racial slur in that, nothing. That's fine. That's fine. what fans do. Bami Army does that, and I I quite enjoy that when they have that banter. They That's come the up with thing. non non performing oh. players. They express their displeasure. So we the can't Bami say Yami? no. No, I'm so saying Bami 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 we can't. Say. Does not matter. <laughs> 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 yeah, you go. You go to. Okay, I'll give you an Indian example. There is the uh, Bengal the derby. Army. No, the Bengal derby football. I've yeah. gone and seen yeah. that. Fans don't like each other. They hate the other player. Sometimes they go overboard. Those fans are chucked out. The ones that don't, the ones that don't, I enjoy that. You have. I enjoy that banter. In India, you have unfortunately is. had all these kind of things under the garb of freedom of expression and all these kind of things. Are these, are kind of, yeah. these kind of what behaviors are, has are, not are, been called are, out. Are, I'll tell what, you. What do you want? This no, 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 no. We need to beat this. No, no, no. Harshad, Harshad, You can okay, justify 1996. Can you justify 1996? No, Can you justify 1999? No, no, I have to go there because from that starting point itself, your toxic mentality has been manifested. Under TNs, see, Viratians, Rohitians, MSDNs, everybody wants to abuse the other. And now in the Abusing stadium, is wrong. But again, they are not talking booing about booing under the Indian context. Why didn't we say, oh, it was right for Sachin Tendulkar to be booed? Why did we call that out? Why did we pan the fans? No, no, no. That I is hypocritical. I never have panned the fans. I there was panned. universal condemnation when Sachin Tendulkar Every fan has a right to move on like some, and some other. I did not. It, the game is and by the way, the can I tell you one more? Just there's no justification, but I also tell you it also sometimes the player in question also makes a huge difference. For example, if you had a Balotelli getting booed, nobody will have a problem. But hmm. a good guy like Messi gets booed, people will have a problem. Hmm. question. Similarly, Hardik's problem, as I said, have been added not just by this captaincy saga. It has been the general bad boy image that he's had, the coffee with current episode. Then, you know, few wrong captaincy calls that have happened here. Various things that may have gone against him. Which is why that's how they perceive him. So he's an easier target in that sense, I agree. But I'm saying you can't take the right away of a fan to show his emotion, whether it's happiness, whether See, it's anger, it's whether it's sadness, they to, have to show. To add one more thing, you know, the timing of this whole captaincy saga was not right. India has just got the World Cup. Emotions are with Rohit Sharma as Indian captain. Rohit Sharma had nothing to look forward to uh, before people wants to see him the IPL. He, I, now, suddenly, one day, Hardik Pandya returns and uh, uh, Rohit Sharma has been re removed as a captain of Mumbai Indians. Fans got hurt even more badly. That that doesn't you know work well for Mumbai Indians as a fan of Rohit Sharma. So Hardik Pandya is caught up in a mess. But did he make that mess? He asked oh, for a captain. Yeah, he, he asked. He's saying he, he made that mess, but he's part of that. No? Yeah. He's he definitely part of that. He looked at that. He may not have made it. Well, it's rather unfortunate. Like, like, 
It is unfortunate. It is rather unfortunate. Him. Him expressing. No, getting booed is unfortunate. It's a normal part of sport. It is. Happens it is, it week is. in and week out okay, in most sports. I was okay with him getting booed when he's traveling away. No, As captain of Mumbai. Home, team, home team. Why not? Home, home team players are uh, if, booed. Of if, course they if, are booed. If the Mumbai fan base you know, did not there like are, the fact that he asked for captaincy, yes. which is only reported at the moment in his clause. So that's also not the only thing. Can I, I tell you? That's not the only thing. You know that in, in a various sport you can pick out basketball, football, any sport, because I'm looking at fan emotion. If a player has said a statement also against their club, na, even the home fans boo you. Every time you have the ball or hold it, you get booed. And by the way, let's not forget, there's a background to it. Hardik Pandya didn't have very nice words to say about Mumbai Indians. When he was a captain, captain. Answer, whatever was, it was. Was it insulting in nature? For, for fans, it may have been, because they said that they buy players and win title. Of course, or I, if you're a hardcore fan, you wouldn't have taken it well. I'm sure there were fans who did. I will expect, I will expect a no, no. mature fan to then I just what, respond but say. I agree, but not all <laughs> of the fans, there are yeah, all kinds on, of yeah. fans. Just there say, all kinds of fans. okay, you two had the money, you two had the money, but same correct. amount of money, what did you do with that money? I, I agree, but I just, uh, exactly what I'm trying to say. Let's say a city, Manchester City take money, people say, right? If you say it to a hardcore city fan and he gets upset, that should not <laughs> be a surprise to you, right? While your, your point will be valid that you take mm -hmm. money and you win, right? But if a fan gets upset, that shouldn't surprise you. He's going to get upset because you're saying something. Similarly, I'm saying you are looking at it very dispassionately because you're not a fan of Mumbai Indians. You're looking at it from the outside. Yes, you've taken the money, so what? But you're looking from the outside. If it's a hardcore fan, he could have been hurt. He could have been hurt he, and the, the player comes back. The fan is hurt. Yes. So see it from that point of view. And I agree they, that there will be certain fans, there will be three, four types of fans. One who couldn't care less. The casual fans see it. One who are very passionate but are very mature and say, okay, fine, he may have said it. But there will also be space for another fan who's emotional, who gets, like I, I'll tell you example. You know, I'll give you a larger example so you understand. Like we all feel for our country. When a, let's say foreigner comes, right, and says, oh, I came to India, what, uh, you know, filthy smell, mm. for example, right? Now the foreigner writes, now Indians will react differently, right? There will be some who will say, how dare you come to my country and mm -hmm. say that, you know, I've been to yours, you guys do this. That's a defensive attitude. Yeah. Some will have. Some may say, listen, I couldn't care less. One random person has come and written, that does not is, affect my country. Who is, who is she? Huh? Yeah. Third fan will say, listen, she has a point. Huh? Why not look at it as constructive criticism and maybe our streets are not clean, they smell. Unlike uh, some first world countries, let's try and improve. Every Indian will look at it differently. All of them are Indians. All of them love their country. But their approach to that statement is different. Similarly, the approach to that Hardik statement would have been different for every fan. Some would have taken it in their stride. Some if they are hurt, you have to agree to all sorts of reactions. And fan reactions of players being booed by their own fans. I'll give you an example again going to football. Romelu Lukaku. No name Belgian striker came to Chelsea, pretty bad first spell and second spell. But in the second spell time, he ended up nearly falling out with the fans of the club he was returning to, Inter Milan. Why? Because he had said, oh, Inter is my club, kiss the badge. Of course, he kisses every badge. That's also a recurring joke. But he then said, the Inter my club. I could never play for another club. And then news reports came, credible news reports, that he had been trying to strike up a deal with Juventus behind the back of Inter Milan. Now, if you know the history of the big three clubs in uh, Italy, uh, whether it be AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus, there's a rivalry going among all three. Inter Milan fans saw it as the highest sign of betrayal. When he returned, it took him about half, three, four months to win back those fans. And even now, there are some of the more hardcore ultras who don't care for him. That's how it is. Fans are fans. Hardik also needs time to win back But don't give football too. examples. No, no, Western doesn't sport. Doesn't he doesn't have time. Hardik doesn't have time. So from next season onwards, he's not getting Will he get accepted? Yeah. Yeah, Even then. Uh, Mumbai has asked. Uh -huh. Mumbai, Mumbai has called uh, Hardik let's back as a captain. Well. Not for only season only, no? But for a mega option yeah. for three more or four more years. To At least three years. years. He has been touted mm, as a future. We don't future. know. He's a future of Mumbai. Never say never. We don't know. Uh, immediate future, yes. So, hmm. Because see, he's not long getting signed by the end of the season. Whether Mumbai lose or long whatever finish last. future, nobody knows. Long when term. Gautam Gambhir joined LSG, I thought he is going to. Yeah, but he's now Gautam is back, back home. Gautam is back home. So, <laughs> See, my only thing about this is if there was universal condemnation when Sachin Tendulkar was booed. And when everybody thought, oh, we did yeah, a wrong thing with there. Virat. The way, <laughs> with Virat. No, no, you were still stuck there. Of the course. Part, the, because see, I am from that era wherein I have seen the worst of Indian cricket. And as far as the fan behavior is concerned. Are fan bhai? behavior. Are sport is for fans, no. But there has to be legitimate gripe 
There has to be a legitimate right to this part of the country. Legitimate, yaar. Where? Rohit has been removed as a captain. It's not legitimate according to you, but that's subjective. For three years, for Mumbai's standards, Rohit's captaincy missed the mark. You nine fever, no, nine no. five trophies. Three last captain. year, last year. No, but you know how it was. No, but his captaincy took them there, yeah. Otherwise, See, Akash Madhwal and Neil Vadera should not be sitting in that playoff. And these Pandya team. brothers would have wouldn't have been found if, if it's not for Rohit See, Sharma. See, but again, so 2022. Oh, not Rohit Sharma, but MI no, no, scouting. No, no. Point point. MI scouting. If hmm? MI scouting. Hmm. But again, 2022. John that Wright. that broke their back. 2022 wooden spoon for the first time a legacy team. Like Sorry. Mumbai Indians reach the thing, so that's why Sorry. 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 it is a big problem, and that's why if there was universal condemnation for two stalwarts, I don't see why. It's your opinion. You are entitled. Yeah. So we're all. But you, you, you. No, like, ironically, you know, ironically, you know what? <laughs> Freedom of speech. <laughs> <laughs> Under Article 19, by the way, we are all protected by Article 19. Mm. Okay. Under this, you know. Yeah, please. हाँ बोलो बोलो नहीं नहीं अंडर इन्वेस्ट पेंस आर नॉट इन यूजिंग दे आर नॉट हaving देशेस प्लस दे आर ओके टू बू दे आर ओके टू चीयर एंड एवरीथिंग प्रणीत दत्ता सेस आरआर हैज अ बैटिंग प्रॉब्लम इट्स जस्ट पराग एंड अश्विन ईश हु आर परफॉर्मिंग द रेस्ट आर स्ट्रगलिंग बाय द वे व्हाट्स विथ पराग एंड ऐसे बोल Mm, and also Mafaka. Mm. No, but what that tells you, interestingly, if you look at it the other way, and there is always space for different <laughs> opinions, and not just one. If you look at it in a different <coughs> way, despite their batting not firing at all, they are three out of three. Imagine if a Butler, a Yashashwi, mm. Jaiswal, all of them, Hetmeyer. a Hetmeyer come into form, it's going to be a. To be fair, Hetmeyer bowling, is in form. He's just not going to bat. Uh, yeah. yeah, but the bowling has been outstanding. I think absolutely. one of the best bowling lineups right now. Yeah, I, and with the addition of Nandre Burger, looks. Potent. I will not take uh, yeah. Sara no. Mahesh Gill's comment. No, it's a caste slur. Next, next. Yes. Satish, Satish B. B saying India men. Sara men's Mahesh Bhale <laughs> Gill, please. I don't know what is that. I really. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to go into that. But you, if it's a he or a she, what you're blocked. I don't know. Uh, no, not blocked. What are you, Donald Trump? Please send us Trump? a question. You're fired. Que- Please send us a question without any of those racist words. Yeah, you have Maybe used a caste slur yeah. if you don't believe it. Yeah, Satish B saying India. I'm sure he doesn't believe it. That's why he's used it. <laughs> but you are telling them. He You're doesn't know it. Yeah, he doesn't know it. it. Exactly. Just floats around in social media. Yes, I mean, people don't. It's know so that. casual. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The racism and casteism is so casual I nowadays. Know. So educated. Thoda right? casual, huh? Mm-hmm. See, <laughs> that's the way of education. <laughs> That's our Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a Gen Z. I'm a millennial. Oh, you're a millennial. Okay, fine. I forgot. You're also old. Yeah, thirty. Yeah. Satish B. India men's and women's T20 World Cup chances are danger. Look at the players' performance and their strike rate, especially men's team. Women's forget it. I yes. agree. I agree with Satish. Satish, absolutely. Women's team. It's as I said, Australia women's team, and then there is the rest. Hmm. Uh, second rung is England. England. Say. Yeah. That's it. India in the third rung. No, they are with England. Uh, there into a, a, a so step ha ah, ah, into a, a, a i think would a. be the right both second ah. yeah both second yep suryan sharma is saying am i when steam by the way satish we've already had a long discussion yeah. and I, i said at that time for the very first time i'm not going to be 100% confident india has a sure shot top 14 oh yeah earlier all icc tournaments i said sure shot top 14 this time also they could be top 4 but i'm not saying sure shot no hopes no hopes i don't know about no hopes, hopes uh, but yeah hopes will change By twenty sixth of uh, May. May. Suryansh, MI will make playoff as they are very good squad. Mm. As KKR fan, fearful facing. Don't MI. start. Oh, don't yes. start. <laughs> That is history <laughs> being scarred for them. Yeah. Eighteen four. I think. No, twenty three nine. Yes, it's mistaken. worse. Yeah, twenty three nine. If you play another. अरे बस यार seven IPLs another seven IPLs read the question. I love to do it. Yes. As KKR fan, fearful facing MI when Sky will be back. Agreed. Be scared, yes. CSK, MI, RR. There's fight between LSG, KKR, SR, and GT. Yeah, he's not team. every team. I'm not going to say that. He's not every team. Fight is pending. Fight, fight is between every team. Every team. Still pending, my team. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think your team is also finding themselves. <laughs> exactly. Divyank is saying for the IPL. Yeah, they called CSK the other day. Hmm? Yeah. Divyank is saying for the IPL meeting retention. Well, yeah. Or a day that he could not believe it's yeah. happened. I told him. So sad. Late, late realization. Sad, dis- <laughs> sad, disappointed on the day that beaten the that time top of the table team. 
and he's as i said sweet realization 24 hours later nahi nahi typical this is a time. shocker i don't like this result it's a shocker no i like it they will never perform this play ricky bui so then and only them yeah play anyway yeah Suryansh Sharma, Divyank, no Divyank, wait. For the Achha, IPL Divyank. meeting retention, four Indians plus two foreigners at max. Nah, nah, nah. Plus rupees one twenty five crore Fair. budget from hundred crores plus to one twenty five crore. Plus most important, sort mini auction loopholes. Hmm. Plus trades like Hardik should be more transparent. And rather than transparent, you should make it more two way. Because hmm. right now all points. of the Yeah, good. I don't like his retention point because I think you should do away with the stupid mega auction concept altogether. I agree, but that now they said that it's not going to be there. Then, point. then bring up RTMs and bring up uh, more retention. Twenty twenty two, right? That was the last time they used that. No, twenty twenty two. There were no RTMs. There were no RTMs. No, they weren't used. Not to my memory. They are trying to do something around the mini auctions, though, because especially with so many foreign players looking that as a loophole, making themselves aware of supply demand, the way that it works. And it ends up being costly buys as a result, and then players back out. So that's one area they're definitely looking at in terms of fixing money. Twenty four point seven point twenty point five crores. That will be the answer for that. Yes. But yeah, you need to increase the budget. What's it said? Hundred, uh, hundred crores. It's terrible. Players are underpaid. Fact, I agree. Ninety five to twenty two hundred. Another five yeah. crores. No, I'm saying it's only be about double two hundred. The three. amount of money these teams make. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. For your media rights, it's forty eight thousand three seventy five yeah. crores, and you're getting only hundred crores. Players, 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 players are underpaid. Very underpaid. Yeah. yeah. Forty eight times less here. Come <laughs> on. Okay. M- Manchester Rising. Does fan opinion influence sports decision in the IPL? Not really. No. On the surface, no. <laughs> no, our no. R- RCB fans for years have been crying for a good bowling lineup. Have they gotten it? No. No, never. Yeah. Exactly. Pranit Datta, they take the captaincy and give it to Boom slash Surya. Ooh. Maybe then Boomer will add another Instagram story. He does that no, a lot. But uh, while you know, this is this is something that they should have thought of it earlier. But I kind of agree now. Now, if you've got Hardik, you no matter what happens this season, you have to give him another season. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Then maybe you take a call Sa- if it doesn't really true, true, true. play out the way you yeah. want to. Yeah. Sartha Karya feeling bad for Pandya. I think he didn't come to bowl as he didn't want to face the bowing. <gasps> Then that means mentally you are shot. He needs to really. That's actually, why I'm saying anybody yeah. would be. I think. And he needs to develop a thick skin. Easier said than done. I agree. People It do get affected. It will take a year or two. Yeah. If that oh, happens, it needs to happen quick. This season, it won't happen. It can't happen this it will, season. It will take at least this season for him to get. Then this Zelda season is gone. It's uh, gone for. Then long. I would want to change my opinion, saying I don't think they're going to. If Hardik is going to be affected, like he is being affected Because now, the and is allow not that, to yeah, and allow that to in some way influence Anji. his decision making, Maybe. then I don't see okay. too much. Yeah. Yeah. Then at this point, any other day he would have the responsibility and bowled at least two overs. The last point is what I'm worried. Bad sign for Indian cricket team. Hmm. No, one name is not enough. Because see, for your Mumbai Indians, whatever may maybe the thing, but Indian cricket team, the broader picture, you're denting Hardik Pandya's confidence and mental. But I just hope way. that if if that was to happen, and let's say the season doesn't turn out the way he mm. wants it to, and that you know he also can't get over this whole mm. fan bashing that's happening. But the only silver lining is maybe when he gets into the Indian setup that he will fire him up even more. I was about no, to no, say that. No, no. Also, limelight is off him. He is not the captain. No, I was about to say that the same fans will start the cheering him up. Huh? Uh, that's what I'm that's saying. But that's again. It's in the Indian cricket uh, it team. It reminds me of what uh, this this conversation that was happening. I think it was Brian Lara who said exactly that. That what is it? I don't remember who asked that question in the com box. But uh, the question went like, what is it that Hardik can do 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 to you know just win the hearts back? Brian Lara said, just play for India. Ha <laughs> <laughs> huh. yeah. yeah. that's true hmm krish yadav how come chawla mayang markande bhuvneshwar unatkat are in ipl teams the i mean he has not said he flattering about the ipl standards no but he is being unfair very bhuvneshwar unfair, has been yeah. very good so has been jaydev unatkat uh, this season chawla is not having a season but that but 2020 was very good and so is mayang markande very good last season till last hmm. season Correct. not having a good time now yeah very unfair Pranit Datta says that Pandya can help himself by backing Indian boys like Wadhera, Vishnu Vinod, instead of going for an overrated Brevis who's being backed by Boucher. I, mean, I don't know about Vishnu Vinod, but yeah, I mean Wadhera is but, a good option. But uh, Nehal Madhwal. and Madhwal yeah, need yeah, to be Madhwal. starting. Yeah, Madhwal and Nehal are not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Kartik K says MI mm-hmm. are fighting a battle within their mind in games. If they can string three home game wins from this, they'll be tough to beat. Next home games reveal their character. Of well course, said. see, you've got two games now coming up against DC and RCB. Good luck for that. 
uh, Krish Yadav, he says, Nikhil sir was a huge fan of this show, but now you guys seem to have lost it. Please leave giving examples to prove your point. Your viewers are uh, not in junior, junior KG. KG. Why you always want to win an uh, argument? Know. See, uh, Krish, thank you for your feedback and thanks for letting us know that you are a fan of this show and we'd want you to continue to be a fan of your of show. We can't change how each of us are, right? And the, you know what the best thing about our show is? Each of us is very passionate about what they feel, whether it's their opinion, their team, and that passion is what keeps us alive and that's what we talk. And to be honest, our aim is not to please someone or, you know, like we will, we do something to please you or please somebody else. We get multiple viewers who come and watch our shows and each of them see the show differently. Uh, we can't really customize our show to suit the need of X, Y, Z. It's not possible, right? So what do we do? We allow it to be natural. We do not have a script in our show. We do not have a pre-planned rundown. We do not have an agenda. And I think that is the USP of our show. We come here, each of us comes here as a fan and then also backed by years of experience that we've spent covering this particular sport. And so we try to share that experience and to top it all more than that experience our passion. The day we come and lose that passion and don't do arguments or give examples to reinstate our arguments and don't have the will to win those arguments, that would be the last day that at least I would want to do the show. And I can speak for my colleagues. The day they are not interested and they don't believe in the point that they have to make, they're not here to win arguments or whatever, that will be the end of our show. And the main purpose, again, as I say, we do not sit and think of as to how you would be perceiving our thing is to come. We would even be doing this show probably, let's say if Sports Today was not there. Let's say if we all got together and we were working in an IT company and we had one hour after finishing our jobs, maybe we would have sat over a chai or a coffee and probably had the Normally same discussion. Normally we do that with our yes. other... It's just that there is an extension, there is another screen and we get to share this passionate talk that we have with you guys. And, I, and I'm not saying you have to align yourself with what each of us say. You should have your opinion, you can hate us, you can love us, you can trash us, that's completely yours. But you can't expect us to change. Right. We are all, we are because we are passionate about a thing and so we will do it passionately. The day somebody is not passionately, he gets panned. You can watch our show yesterday yes. to, to have an idea, right? But that's, but that was also a flavor. That is also an element. That's what we enjoy. Yeah. Right. Nothing more to but add. Thank you for your F comment. Fan, Fee Shadaf's fans in sport. Fans in sport. We are also fans. Yeah. We are also fans. Manchester Rising yeah, is... Yeah, all those. Oh, no, no, Divyang. 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 Oh, yeah, Divyang. Yeah. MI is a champion team. Have been in this situation many times. Hardik should tell team we can only go up from here. MI can still do it plus Sky to come in few weeks. Mm, I point. hope the boat has not sailed till then. I, I, ha, even I, I think because see, little... every time a 2014 can't repeat. Can't be repeated. Whatever Hardik <laughs> comes and it's too late. It is. I mean, you couldn't repeat your feet in 2022. You lost eight on the trot. Yeah. So that's why. Stadium booing. The Manchester Rising Stadium booing is a freedom of speech. Article 19. Correct. Yep. Take that, sir. <laughs> and and article your Article 19 is abridged by you guys only <laughs> because of your fickle nature. Accept that also. Huh? Yeah. Fickleness. Fickle fans. <laughs> the greatness of Indian fans is they are fickle. I the fickle. The most fickle species on this planet. Are you an Indian? I am an Indian. You are an Indian. So why are you singling out all Indian fans? Are you not but a fan of? Are you not a fan of sport? I am a fan of sport, but I have been bought up. And let me tell you, people who don't know me, I have been bought up with a lot of sporting respect. Respect is the key. No, but sir, they are respecting. You cannot tell if people I'm to booing, respect. If I'm booing, I, I, also think I also have respect. I can. And I have also been brought up like that, but I have the right to boo. See, I do. It comes. From that does us. not mean you are more respectful than no, I no, no. or anybody. It's here. not that. See. You are playing sport. All those examples of loyalty and all those kind of things. You are playing sport, but these kind of things are unnecessary no. distraction. If you, it is hurting, no, you you I'll give an example. Player. I'll just illustrate with another example. Can I tell you? Yeah. Uh, we all praise the Chennai crowd for clapping mm -hmm. and standing. And I mentioned at that time. Assuming there were so many people in the crowd that clap, right? Mm. We only saw those. But if you remember that, and I remember seeing that match, the stadium had kind of emptied out, right? Mm. There were a lot of people who did not also want to clap. Yep. And as I am saying, I could be both the fans. I could have been the fan who 
enjoyed Pakistan's performance and I stood up and I clapped. Hmm. But I could also be the fan who was heartbroken like because that. Sachin Tendulkar had back ache and he got out. And I did not want to chair for the Pakistan team after my team has lost. Hmm. And so I got up and I left the stadium. And both are I right. Did not want, and both, both are, are right. right. Yeah, and both have been brought up well. And both are good people. Yeah, just that their emotions and the reaction. Yes, the fan who's not been brought up well, who's right, who would have stood there and abused yes. or cast racist slurs at Pakistan team. That is not the fan I want to be. But if I'm a fan who was hurt and didn't want, want to praise the Pakistan team and left, so be it. But then the ones who did, also very those, good. The Australian, fa Australian fans who passed racist card on Siraj, they were kicked out of the stadium. Yes, of course, at of the course. same time, yes. they were banned yes. for future games but, as well. But the other ones who made uh, fun like doing exercises, they're fine. Okay. That's fine. So, okay. By but that, you cannot tell fans to behave in a certain no, no, no. way. See, the problem also, when India-Pakistan mm -hmm. happened, it's a slightly problematic territory that we're going into. Yeah. Didn't we pan the fans for those religious chants that they had? Uh, yes, we did. But then that's under the freedom of expression there no, also. No, 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 no. But, but they I'm were just saying, see, religion, that's why I just told you no racist stuff. But that is religious. It does yeah, not have to do with religious. Same no, thing. no. no discriminatory behavior is yeah. the yes. same. In Pakistan, whether it be that is legitimate no, here when they do the It is not legitimate no, there. No, 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 no. We didn't take it because we know that does not. That is not sport. That's a fault. And see, that is what I'm highlighting. No, no. We are setting a very dangerous No, no, no. We are shifting goalposts. We are not shifting goalposts. We are comparing apples to oranges, by the way. Exactly. You are comparing apples to apples, you mean? No, no, no. You are comparing apples to oranges. You are telling a certain fan fans to behave in a certain way, which they will. Not, and now where are the and they should not. all come in. No, 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 no. They should see, not. If we are actually, the problem is, I'm looking at a player who's done nothing wrong. But so that's your the, opinion. So you, uh, you know, yes, you, but a, I'm upset that my favorite player has been removed. I, I, I am upset that. Because I'm upset. But then are we? I'm a fan. Are we users and that? Are we fans? Fans, yes, fans. Yes, per yes, se. yes. yes. We have more passion than you. All shapes and sizes. All you know. Uh, we have to parts of the country, all, all cast, different religions, all cast religions, religions color, everything. Yeah, yeah. No, we are more passionate than you in that in that okay. sense. Then you cannot see because you, can, you because know it's very easy for him to uh, be like that. Uh, you know, if they remove uh, Ashwin, please uh, go ahead. I mean, Nikhil, Nikhil, <laughs> have I not criticized MS Dhoni for the way how he did? And who have danced the most times when I, whenever Ashwin picked the wicket? Have you ever, ever danced? Have off you ever danced when Bumra picked the wicket? Have off you ever danced when Ratan Kuldeep picked the wicket? Camera, you know, I have every time you dance. <laughs> When I should pick okay. the wicket. I'll tell you, don't, don't I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reason. No, no, okay. no, no. But that's no, a good I, thing. No. You're passionate about it. Good thing. No. I like it. See, but at least off camera. Can, ha, so you're off different. camera. You are different. On camera, you're different. I have to <laughs> you cannot be. I have to you be cannot be. I work with them. I have to be different off camera. For one simple reason, Saranj. For one simple reason. You cannot be two different individuals. I have to be. Okay, okay. You have to be because you are. Because. It is a platform where you have to call a spade a spade. Off camera, I can be anybody. I can even be a Mumbai Indian. Okay, now the get... fan does not have to deal with this dilemma. He's a fan. He does not have to be different because he's not going to be doing a show. So he will be himself True. at I the stadium. I want a platform yes, to say. So, so if you a were friend not, is another yes, platform. But, but, but that's that. That's the exact point. That's the point. That's 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 the point. That's that's the point. I want to make. That if you were a fan and mm. you went to the stadium, you don't have to do a show. Will you not dance just as you dance off camera? There you will dance. No, no, I'll dance on camera also. Yeah, you dance exactly. on camera also. So you will also do. But again, I am only saying one thing, and you point. He's pointed out a north-south divide in this, which was not necessary. One thing. That but it's true. You tell me it's wrong. You tell it me I'm wrong. lying. You tell it me I'm lying. Wrong. You tell me I'm lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> you tell me I'm lying. <laughs> you are lying. I'm lying. You are lying. lying. <laughs> See, come on. The P Saran Shah on camera, I'm saying, has lied through his teeth. <laughs> uh, thirty people, people, because thirty people around you. According to you, five hundred thirty-nine people are proof. Saran Shah has lied. Are no, they are not proof. They don't know you. What they don't work with you. I sit in front of you. I have seen you dancing whenever I should pick a wicket. Okay. You never dance when Bola so, picked the wicket. So, let, let, who, also, also, who trolls? No, no. Who also, trolls? Also, who also, trolls me when Ashwin takes a wicket? Also, who trolls me? I don't troll you. Uh, I don't. I don't troll. troll to, I dance so you, for them. No, and no, it's no, not directed saying, to the fan I'm, or anything. Listen, no, no. Listen, listen. I'm just saying you don't have to teach fans how to behave. I will teach them. I will teach them. I am showing. I am showing the fans a mirror to their behavior. No, you. 
हार्दिक आई विल बुक Good one. Fine. Yes. That's his opinion. He's right. Just as just as uh, Saraj, he is also not wrong. He can express his opinion. So can Sarah. Everyone can. And that's the purpose. By you not allowing him for opinion, you're becoming like him. By saying you should not say, let him. I, I But just, don't I, agree I, with his opinion. I, I, don't I, not I, agree. I just said you cannot teach yes. fans to behave. Yeah. and and he he is is openly openly saying saying that that doesn't like like yes which is entitled. that's so, a fan in fact, will do whatever as Shubham Garg also points out does very much seem like part of the problem why will fans accept a player who'll play only as captain Virat would have gotten booed if he refused to play when captaincy was taken team comes before captaincy okay but good, good opinion point. there Shubham hmm. each you know everyone has their opinion okay Kartik K ah no fan was in US he asked LeBron choked James, <laughs> and his clutch sports Ooh. campaigning hashtag We are done with the nineties was done. Choked James. We just had the interview with the Chief Minister yeah. of yeah, Punjab, Punjab, quoting LeBron's LeBron example. No, but to be fair, LeBron has That's had previously. That's up on sports today. You can check that out. LeBron has previously had a, a few yes, occasions sure. where he slipped yeah. up, and as he says, we're done with the nineties campaign. That hashtag he came up with was done to discredit someone like an MJ. Mm. Correct. He's yeah, right. He's a good one. <laughs> Shivam Garg very naughty. I am not taking that comment. Yeah, exactly. I am not taking <laughs> that Shubham comment. Shivam Garg, I think we'll take yeah. it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I guess my dream country to live is North Korea, China, with ample freedom. So Shivam Garg, firstly, you don't know the problems in North Korea. Using that, I am sorry, my friend. Clearly, you are being sarcastic. Right? I know that, He's but still, see the emoji. He always thing. is sarcastic, and that's why Shivam. This IPL has seen the most venomous targeting of a player. It's not just MI fans that him GT must be hating him too, leaving them in the middle. I feel the booing is too much, maybe because of his attitude. Fair, correct. Could be. Fair comment. Fair comment. Could be. Uh, Satish B says tomorrow I am backing LSG. They will thrash RCB. Satish, oh, early days, but I do kind of agree with him. I also kind of agree. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, Nikhil, you you said maybe. He's talking about RCB. They were LSG will thrash RCB. Ha. Yeah. So why are you saying maybe? Ha, well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I mean uh, it may be a close encounter. Not no, no, no. Gautam Gambhir isn't there anymore. It's not that, that uh, rivalry has been dropped off its edge. I'm sorry. Yeah, Nikhil Shinde says I'm worried for India's T20 World Cup chances, aren't yeah. we all? Now is the MI rift is going to really play a big part there. And Sid, please provide us with some manual on how to behave. Please I will. Don't. No, I will. No, no. I don't want that manual. Long, yes, uh, yes, yes. And put it up on the community. You mean pages. you mean like a manifesto? Yeah. <laughs> the, Arre, don't the, tell him to do it. Fan please, manifesto. Yeah, please, don't, 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 please don't. At the moment, we can co-author it. <laughs> please. <laughs> please don't. Know, please don't. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> collaborators. Vishal Panchal says only Hard or Rohit can save Hardik from getting booed. We saw him try. Yeah, true. He tried it. True, yeah, he, he tried it today. Let's mm. see if it works. I doubt it's going to have too much of an effect. It mm. won't. Right now, fans. Uh, but 
two three more instances let's say maybe a couple more if he done, does it more openly let's say today he was fielding on the ropes maybe when it's only the when he's can. inside the, the hero circle, camp caught it when he's closer in in close proximity to hardik maybe that then no, it makes a difference no but even though hero camp caught it we're going to be uh, you know pushing it spread. because we'll also be covering it on sports today and there is other news platform so it will get known slowly right gradually yeah uh, sai shrivatsav says there's no western eastern north south cultures in sport it's sport for god's sake Many countries play together and influence fans everywhere. This is for. Hmm. It's uh, for manifesto. Don't quote, don't but quote Western exam. That's why he's saying is that you can't then if you're talking about this culture and that culture then there's no point. Yeah. The whole point actually of an IPL, which is why I always say the name Mumbai Indians is a rather silly one, is that it's trying to promote regional rivalries by saying Indian. By saying Indians. Well done. As opposed to. Mumbai Indians as opposed to Kolkata non Indians ah. <laughs> or, or, uh, and the so Delhi Kolkata and the Delhi what invaders Delhi are capital <laughs> Lucknow are super giants and <laughs> Chennai <laughs> Mumbai Indians you have to be bent this part of two very objectionable statement on this broadcast no, no, I'm just saying that all of them are Indians that's yeah. why Karthik K also said that isn't fan dollar dollar bills y'all contributing to players income and game growth correct yeah. without the fans were nothing what is played for the fans only ah. no If you give them your manifesto, they will stop going to the state. Manifest. That will be a problem. Anyway, as you said, gate receipts and everything—it's all very small. If yes, you have to look small. at no, it. No, no, no. Even, uh, even. Uh, I mean, hold on. Gate receipts is small, but Baba, who is watching the game on the screens? The dogs. I mean, look. Who again, pays for no, those? No, what is? No, no, no. no. Have to follow us. <laughs> in the uh, in Chindaswami, they are now. Yeah, they are. There's a dog out. There's a dog out zone. Dog out. Yeah. yeah. Vishal Panchal, CSK fiasco. Repeat, Rohit back as captain. Well, possible. No, Rohit cannot. Rohit will not return as captain. Mm. Then Mumbai's vision is screwed. Then yeah, even happens. I don't think. So. Rohit, Rohit will not return. A new captain, they might appoint, but Rohit will not return. But, but, I'm just hypothetically, if the team management, you know who the owners are. Yeah, no? no, of if course. If they say, tell Rohit, you have to captain. Then so what yeah. is he going to do? He will yeah. captain. No, Rohit has nothing. If to they do were now. to say anything. He will not do. captain. He no, no, he'll captain. He has nothing to do. A sky, a bumra, a bumra, my captain. But okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, if you say so, if you insist, Saranj. Mm, Sai Srivatsa once again says your own team have different opinions. How would you expect 40k fans sitting in the stadium to be? Very your good. Well said. Very, Very good. good, sir. Thank Absolute. You. Thank you. Mm. And we ourselves have different opinion. How can exactly? Exactly what we want. that. And we're like four or five people. Uh-huh. Navkaran Thur says I still think that Pandya is the next big thing after Rohit and Kohli. And someone who wins an IPL in two seasons is taking it up to the final second season. Anyone would have him in his team no matter what. What wrong did Hardik do if he accepted it? See, you're going now on the other side. Yeah, the other side. Yeah. Love Karan Thur, thank you for your question and love from the US. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> Pranit Datta with a nice one saying, "Can you give shit, uh, Sid a show <laughs> to rant thank about you. fans? Ah. No one will see it." Ah. Oh, I'm Sid. sorry, that was. And we aren't beeping that. We aren't beeping that. Please don't say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> well done, well done. And I am not like Hardik Pandey of the fake smile. I am genuinely enjoying it. <laughs> oh. uh, no, we have not finished the question. <laughs> no, no, that was it. That was it. Oh, that was it. Oh no, wait. There's one more. There's one more. Divyang. Divyang. Just came. Uh, okay, Divyang. Say, so understand. Every fan is different. I love Rohit, but don't like booing of Hardik. But I also know every fan has their own rights. You can't school fans. Thank you, thank you, my friend. I mean, thank you, Divyang. Divyang, I can understand that, but see, some behaviors just can't be swept under the carpet. Are you still you are stuck there? I will be stuck there. That's why I was telling you. Exactly, I will be stuck thank there. Thank you, Divyang. Well, forty. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Okay, on that note, it's been a long night. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it been a long. This game got uh, over early. Yeah, but our show. Our discussion went over hundred minutes. I, I dare say our discussion was more entertaining than the actual game. Half around five. Say it yourself. I, I can. If he can write manifestos, I can say that. I can become a good author than in that sense. Okay, uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for your company. Could not take all comments, but uh, tomorrow is another day. Oh yeah. Uh, Virat Kohli is playing. Oh yes. And K L Rahul is playing. Yep. But that rivalry is lost its edge <laughs> hmm. because of Gautam Gumbir's absence. So but it's at Ekan, right, or it's at uh, Chinnaswamy? Uh, I, no, I think it's at Chinnaswamy. They have those run of home games, RCB. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yep, yep. So. Okay, Piyush Nandre says congratulations on 300k. Thank you so much, Piyush. Thank you for all your love. We uh, love it all. Giving us. I uh, hope to 
you know, 400k. If you guys help us, yeah. yeah. Uh, this IPL. Strike rate is good. Strike rate is good. Strike rate is very good. It's, it's the time we love. But as I said, doesn't matter. Even if it remains at 300k, we are happy. We have a family of 300k. Family size. What does size matter? No. Is it not? 300 home, 400 home, 500 home. Family. Family is family. Whoever wants to join can join. Whoever is here, we are already happy with that. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Nandri, Vanakkam, Shubhratri, Shabba Khair. And. See you for the Lucknow Super Giants. Now you can school them for a few couple of things. Okay. Uh, I think we need a few of those. Your mother and eat your vegetables. Bye bye.